All right, hi Kristen. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I just want to talk to you, see what's going on. Um, I know that for you, you had your anniversary and you went on your trip, and I want to know all about that. And uh, for me, I had my anniversary too. Um, we've been married for five years, which is really cool. Um, and you know, a bunch of other stuff happened. I got accepted to UT, which is amazing. Um, hold on, this is really hard. I'm using my big camera, my like. EOS and it looks a lot better but it's really heavy so <laughs> we'll see how this goes um yeah I just want to talk to you about what's going on so I know that you said that you're rewatching Supernatural to try and get a better feel for why they brought God into the story and uh I respect that I mean I love Supernatural so I'm actually rewatching re it too um right now I'm in the end of season five uh the last thing that happened was they just, uh, the angels just took Adam, and Dean tried to rescue him, and it didn't work out, because, you know, of course not. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a good season. I really, I forgot how much I liked uh, the earlier parts of Supernatural. Um, but season five is a lot, it has a lot of good stuff in it, so I'm enjoying it right now. Um, work is good, it's a little crazy. I'm hoping they'll be good and flexible and help me work with my school schedule and stuff when that happens. Um, I start school in January. It's a, such a crazy timeline, too. I'm going to keep switching back and forth because my arm gets tired. Um, oh, hi, cat. Look at that cat. Hi, cat. She doesn't care. Um, so, I don't know. They haven't announced an orientation day yet, but um, my first advisor meeting is on January 10th. And then my classes start the next week, exactly seven days later, on January 17th. So it's going to be a lot of stuff happening real quick for me um, in the beginning of next year. Um, but yeah, I don't know, a lot of stuff has gone down since our last video. The election happened, so I have a lot of feelings about that. Um, But as far as like other concrete stuff about my day-to-day -day life, um, next time I go to Dragon's Lair, I'm probably going to go sometime this coming up week. Um, next time I go, I'm definitely going to bring you along, show you the place. And um, I've started using a bullet journal. I don't know if you know what that is. If you don't, I will talk about it in my next video. But it's like super handy and useful. And having something that I write in every day to like guide my stuff is really cool. It's fun to look back and be like, I got all this stuff done, you know? <laughs> but, okay, probably what I'm procrastinating about the most right now is NaNoWriMo. I'm, like, 6,000 words behind. And I should really be writing right now. But I thought I'd make a video and see how you're doing. I know you're doing NaNoWriMo, too. Can't. <laughs> um, I just wanted to know how you're doing, how your story is coming along. Um, I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere in my story, but that's probably because I'm 6,000 words behind. And I'll feel a lot better once I'm all caught up. Um, it's just hard. It's just hard to close the gap once it's that big. So, I'll update you next week about where I stand. Um, hopefully I'll be doing a lot better. Week 2 is just hard. Week 2 of NaNoWriMo is always hard. Um, because it's like, you, week 1 is great because you're excited, you're starting, you're like, gonna go. And then week two is when you're like, oh my god, what am I writing about? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Making time to write is hard, and I have so many other things going on in my life. But then week three, you're kind of in the routine of it, and like you're, you're getting momentum back up. And then week four is like the furious race to the finish line. So week two is just the hard one. So uh, I just got to catch up for my week two slump. Hopefully things will turn out okay. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a good... Day. Today is Friday, which is my Saturday. But um, yeah, let me know how you're doing. I love you and I hope I see you soon. Bye.